Hi guys, uh, new week starting and uh, once again FX Channel House brings you a tutorial for you to start the week. So uh, uh, this week I bring you a tutorial on how to model the, um, this frame and how to texture it, uh, bring it to Photoshop and uh, bring it again to Cinema 4D and to, to make it like uh, work perfectly uh, even with animation. So uh, it's a really cool and fun tutorial to follow up. So um, let's get start this. So uh, let's go. Alright guys, so um, this is the scene file that I did for my intro animation, just uh, that short uh, video. And uh, But today I'm going to start this from scratch. Not modeling the, the whole apartment, but uh, just modeling uh, this, um, this frame. So uh, let's get started the project. Open up a new project. Um, make up a cube. Uh, on this cube, let's sh just shrink this a little bit from here. And a little bit from here. That's uh, what I say. Um, the frame can be the, the size of whatever you want, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to put uh, the texture on this, and even with the animation, the, the texture will still uh, stick on the object. So um, I think it's really cool uh, to share here with you guys. So uh, once you have your your frame size uh, ready, uh, you can edit the object and get here to the edit mode uh, for for the object. So make a right click and let's extrude inner this. So um, and then you, you can make like the, the size that you want for your for your frame um, and then to your your art to, to fit in so uh, I'm just going to put like this that uh, should be cool and now I'm going to make like a like a slightest um, extrude uh, to the to the inside I'm gonna make a right click again and then going to extrude it again so um, so just uh, that we have like a, this little this uh this difference here so um it, it will look better now so um uh, i think it's okay so uh once you have this uh you will, will make a uh, again a right click uh you're going to split the object and um this is the splitted part and this is the the full the full object so um you're going to just change the name of this to split whatever you want to call it and um, this way we have uh, our object to put the, the texture on it so uh, we're going here and then we're going to BP UV edit and then um, what we need to do is uh, just to extract the size of the of this plane to, to put uh, our art so um, it's very easy so we are going to make a click on this brush and then you're going to you're going to put this off and you're going just to edit the split so um, make a next next also a next and then you're going to close the object and uh, you're going to make a click on this part so that um, the program the, like insert the, uh, can save the texture the texture size and now you're going to press control a control a and then you're going to make a new layer and uh, what sorry to make a new layer and um, and you're going to, to see the size of the texture so we have a texture about uh, 400 width and um, 12 uh, 24 by by height so um, we're going to Photoshop and we're going to edit this so I'm going to make uh, what was the size 400 by 1024 all right 400 by 1024 is cool. Uh, also, the resolution leave it like 300 because you're going to have um, a better resolution for the, um, the for the painting or for the the art. And um, once you have this, uh, you're gonna you're going to just uh, paste uh, place uh, like an image on it. And uh, I already have a folder with a few images that I did. So I'm going just to put this poster and I'm going to place it. So it's a little bit uh, small, but uh, uh, this poster has like a 300 uh, resolution so I can increase it a little bit so it's no problem so you're going to press and then you want to scale this scale a bit more and we should have the size cool for uh, for that poster so um, I think it's okay now so just press our image here place it and let's save this so um, I'm going to save it as a as a tutorial and then I'm going to put it on PNG or JPEG whatever you want it it's save it okay we can go now again to to cinema 4D and let's go to standard 
and then we have already this size for it just sorry okay once you have that you can uh, open a new texture uh, on this new texture you can go here and just place the texture in so um, uh, the name is tutorial it's here and it's okay so we can give it a little bit of a reflection just for the just to have some reflections I'm going to also put a frizz now and uh, just decrease this a little bit and that should be okay so alright uh, once that's done you can add your texture to the split and you see that your text is already on your object so uh, if you make a quick render uh, you, you see that you don't have nothing because um, uh, you still have uh, another piece of the split uh, that is covering the split so you're going to press to your cube you're going to the edit mode and just click this and uh, delete it so if you make a render now you see that you have your poster there and your frame so um, if you want to make like um, just a material for the frame you can go to the frame make a whatever color that you want I'm gonna make my my nice yellow that I use always and I'm just going to give a little bit of reflection for now that should be cool and that's okay and we're going to add it to the split so um, no not not to the split but <laughs> the cube sorry uh, and if you render now you see that you have your your frame ready uh, with your art in it so um, be always uh, how can I say careful uh, about um, the sizes of your art uh, because uh, and the size of the of the screen that you're working on so um, you cannot stretch uh, too much uh, the images as, as you know and um, and I think uh, this is it for for this tutorial. So uh, uh, once you have this, uh, make your renders. Uh, how can you say? Make your scenes, make your studios, and uh, render this with a really cool quality. If you if you are it's the first tutorial that you've seen from my channel, uh, go back and um, we have uh, cool tutorials for like uh, scene setups and uh, also some uh, cool other tutorials. So I um, hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, and hope you continue following up uh, effects on the house. So um, have a great week. Uh, we got a lot of projects to, to run up for, for this week. So it's going to be a crazy good week. So uh, cheers, guys.